We'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. We've got a quorum here. Craig and Aaron are in. Okay. Uh, yeah, I see Craig there. I don't see Aaron, but I've got him maybe. on my screen. Okay. Got it. All right. Call the meeting to order. Uh, start with our pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag. flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. <clears throat> Need a motion to approve the agenda? I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. All right. You got a motion by Bo. Second. Yes. Second and by Craig. Uh, Craig? Yes. Patsy? Yes. Ant? Yes. Carla? Yes. Bo? Yes. And that makes a yes for me, too. All right, we'll move on to our consent agenda. Uh, need a motion to approve the consent agenda. I make a motion we approve the consent agenda, please. Okay, motion by Carla. A second. Seconded by Bo. I need to abstain from Midwest Computech invoices 43842, Yes. Aaron. Yes. Patsy. Yes. Kent. Yes. Carla. Yes. Bo. Yes. Motion carries six zero. Uh, moving on to approval of fundraiser. Or did I jump the gun there? That was in the consent agenda as well. Uh, no. Got that. That was in our consent. Sorry about that. Uh, recognitions. Moving on to holiday card presentation. Dr. Robinson, you want to talk about that? Yep. We, uh, we only had five submissions. We were a little bit... Uh, because of our break of about two weeks, we got a little behind with that. So um, the uh, office staff, we uh, took a look at the submissions. There were about five and one was a true standout. Kainis Ziao um, provided that uh, card. It's awesome. Uh, you'll see it coming out, a lot of detail in it. And uh, Leslie and I went over and presented it to her masked up um, out of her class uh, this week. So we presented her with a $50 check and there's a video you can see of us presenting that if you guys haven't looked at that already. Excellent job by her. She was thrilled. She was thrilled to get it. Hey, I forgot to ask a very important question earlier. Go ahead. Which one of you all got in my bag of popcorn? <laughs> I, will, I will see what we can do about that uh, popcorn. 
<laughs> I don't know who got it, but I ate two bags. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're the culprit. <laughs> Uh, no, I was going to say this program evaluation, this is a really nice job they did. This YouTube video, it was well put together. I really appreciate it. I wish we were uh, all together watching this in person, but uh, it was really cool. I think um, yes, it was. All of our vocationals are uh, kind of getting into that, and um, I asked them to do it, and they were uh, collaborating with the other vocationals who've done it before for us. So uh, our teachers are all working together. It's a good thing to see, and I'm proud they've got a lot to say, and our two ag teachers are new, so um, no pressure. I told them no pressure, but here's some outline of some things you could talk about. They were more than happy to do it, learning a lot of new skills which is a good thing. It was cool to get inside the shop in the video and then also get to uh, get out and see some of the plants and things that, uh, and just the work that, that they do and put into it. I really, uh, really liked watching it. Good. So any questions uh, on that? Or we can follow up with some email questions, I guess, to Dr. Rob, you can pass those on. Um, with that, we'll move on to our reports. And looks like you are up, Dr. Up. Robinson. I am up. And now I'm unmuted. Okay, so I had uh, Leslie go ahead. It's kind of a, as I'm, you know, we're trying to do this. I'm filming this at the same time this meeting's going on. And, we're all watching each other like the Brady Bunch. And I thought, I probably better give you um, some of the work that I did with GRP over the first few days of uh, the two week break that we had. I came in and met with GRP and we sat down and I gave them, um, you know, we've been having some discussion about um, breaking it down, not asking for a full 4 million on the April bond issue that will be on the ballot and asking them to take it down to just HVAC and then take it down to HVAC with the lighting and the security pieces and the ADA ramp. So they added two more cost breakdowns there um, in the document that um, our mail carrier, Leslie, was so nice to be nice to me and deliver out late this afternoon after I copied them. Um, she got them all to you. Hopefully you can see those. The two um, numbers that you see right there, those are the two new ones, the two up front ones there, and it kind of X's off what's included. And then the option A, B, and C are what they had given us before. So um, not a lot of change, a little bit of change if you go all the way down to the um, um, first one goes all the way down to about 2.17 would um, take care of all HVAC 2.4 would take care of the electrical you know the upgrades there the uh, new security pieces we were talking about in the ADA ramp um, neither of those two includes the track or the lighting outside or um, the canopy um, which we could have done a solar canopy there on the uh, bus loading and unloading um, lane. It doesn't include the uh, student parking lot, actually asphalting that or doing chip and seal or something like that. Um, so just very basic, you know, what that would be. So you're, got, you're looking at low to mid 2 million range. Um, Felt that was important for us to know what GRP could do with us before we either keep them on or um, look for a different way to do, get this work done. Um, they've been very interested. They've had a lot of conversation with me, a lot of phone calls. Um, they've also reached out to uh, some of our local people um, that may be interested again um, and had some conversation um, 
about what uh, could be provided either from people who are here locally or are outside the area but have a connection to Tipton. Um, what, uh, what questions do you have on any of that? Oh, also there's some additional pages there. You'll see in the folder that uh, Leslie brought to you. Hopefully that's clearer than what you can see on your screen. Those spreadsheets get a little bit, you know, hard to read sometimes line by line. Um, there's a breakdown, a cost comparison there from the other performance energy contracting uh, companies that we had come into Tipton. That's from Schneider, from CTS, from Navitas. And there's kind of an apple, more of an apples to apples comparison because all of them kind of put a different basket of things together. Um, just to remind you, GRP was the most responsive to what we as a board were saying we would like to see done. I feel like they did the most listening to us. I think it's one of the reasons they, they won the bid, not just being the lowest bid. And unfortunately, they were the lowest and also listened to us the best. Um, you can kind of see a cost comparison kind of comparing what each one of those companies did on that other spreadsheet, um, ranging from anywhere from, you know, uh, 2 million, um, sorry, 1.9 million all the way up to uh, 2.4, or sorry, 2.8 with Schneider. So even that breakdown still shows, you know, they're, they're, they were a low bidder. Um, then you can see the uh, cost savings where you see the performance uh, contracting review summary. You know, how much are you saving if you're with GRP compared to the other programs there? So I thought that was a little better breakdown of, you know, why GRP we went with them to begin with. And I give that to you for your information, not for any kind of official endorsement. If you as a board have a, a different way you wanna proceed, um, I'm your employee, I'm, I'm your guy. Um, we've, we've gone after construction manager. Um, we decided to go with performance contracting. That was the second choice. And if we're looking for something different to do, um, I just need your guidance and, and how you want to proceed. Um, maybe we want to set a budget and say we're gonna spend a certain amount. My only concern would be is that we've set a certain amount and um, we repeat some of the mistakes of the past where uh, we put an amount, said we were going to do something, and um, it came up short. And like I kind of put in your notes and kind of writing to you all that um, I'm concerned that we overpromise but we underdeliver. Um, that has happened with the elementary gym. Um, that's happened when the playground wasn't finished. Um, I hear about these projects. Um, I actually would say it kind of happened when the uh, football field was moved. It should have left some space for future planning and development. It did not. Um, and, and this is no indictment about it to anybody. It's just that um, I, I want us to leave a, a good project finished for this community. And um, I, I'm just going to listen to you guys too. You guys are strong into construction and I, obviously, I'm not an HVAC engineer or a construction manager, but um, um, I'm invested here. I'm, I'm wanting to see a great result for our kids. So uh, I leave that piece of information with you. And are there any questions on anything I provided there? I have a question. Um, will we honor the bids that we had or we, will they re, have to resubmit them? Uh, currently, we don't have to resubmit them. Okay. We've awarded, we, we've named them as our provider. Um, we can drop them if we choose to do so and rebid however we choose. We can do a, 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 we will have to have an engineer, like an architect with their engineer that works with HVAC, or we're going to have to have um, a construction manager that has their engineer that writes these specifications and designs this for us. So at some point there's a designer in my understanding um, right now, GRP is our designer, and they're guaranteeing us a cost savings when they design it. So uh, for the next 10 years, they're guaranteeing roughly 170 to $200,000, okay? 15 to 17% of our light bill would be about that much money. Um, they're also guaranteeing the price. 
when they quote you 2.17, you're writing a check for that amount and that's it. There's no change orders. There's no, uh, we don't have enough money to finish the project or we need another $200,000. We ran into a problem. Nope. Once we sign that contract, that's the price. So there's some advantages to do with this. Um, you know, if you remember with our construction manager, they're gonna kinda want some money to get started. I think the one we had, don't quote me on this, was uh, the construction manager we said was a low bidder, was wanting about $90,000 to get started. So we're, we're gonna get hit at some point with that, that cushion that nobody likes to pay, which is somebody that's gonna do the design work and is going to lay it out and say, this is what's going out for the RFP. This is what's gonna solve Tipton's problems. Right now that person's GRP. Um, they're looking at Butzer um, because they're gonna do their subs. They're gonna do their bidding. They're gonna Butzer to do the takedown and the installation and putting it all up. Now that's a local connection for us. Um, they did contact Christian Knipp um, and talk to him about train equipment. Um, he would be a bidder for you know, the equipment we put on the roof. Um, but um, obviously a lot of those specifications and things that they have to guarantee, what kind of drives them is they have to guarantee that this is gonna save us money. So I'm here to proceed how you guys want me to, to proceed. Um, and, and obviously we've had two failed bond issues. So that, that comes to mind too. Nobody wants to keep failing. And, and that's not where I am either. Well, the, re the reason I ask is because, you know, well, we've had these bids for, what, six months, and, mm -hmm. you know, and so it's going to be... These are updates. It's going to, pardon me? These are updates. Yeah, and so I didn't know if we had to, if they had to resubmit, if we had to resubmit the bids or what, so that's the reason I was asking. These are updates, Carla, mm -hmm. so if you look at column one and two sow one and sow two those are the updated models and a b and c options are the previous bid models correct to my understanding the question i had is the 15 to 17 percent is that what they're guaranteeing annually or over the term or mm -hmm. over a five-year term or whatever I don't know I, I took that to mean um, over a 10-year term now let me write that down just to is be that sure. the total or yeah. is that an annual savings annually they do come back the performance energy contract is that I'm familiar with they do come back and they tell you what you saved over the course of a year now that's my understanding of it in the conversations I've had I can ask them, them that, Clint, specifically to find out. I got 15% is 15%, so right. it doesn't matter if it happens in a year, you know, or five, because they didn't give us a dollar figure right. on it. My estimate would be around $200,000 over 10 years, because I know our light bill is around $100,000 each year, our electric bill. Okay. And the cost has gone up here. Is that what I'm seeing? Well, no, I guess SO, well, SOW won, but it includes less. Correct. That's, that's where we're looking at the uh, bond issue itself and saying, how much are we going to budget for? How much are we going to ask the community to get a loan for? And um, if we just did HVAC, we're looking at at least 2.1, I'd say 2.2. Um, just to be certain. Well, um, can you talk about the failed PVC conduit in the greenhouse? I know we had talked about that during the our previous bond issue, but I noticed yeah. that they're not in both SO1 and SO2. Correct. SOW. We, we, SOW2. Would, we would be left to do that on our own. Um, we, could, we could bid that out, out separately. Um, it's, um, we can add it, you can ask them to go back and look at it, but it's probably a small enough job that we could probably bid that pretty easily. It's just a conduit that needs to be replaced because it's warped. 
uh, plastic conduit, PVC pipe con type conduit was used and it needs to be metal. Um, so it's warped and it's pulling away the, uh, the protection um, around the wiring boxes um, in the greenhouse. I just remember that being, I thought, a safety issue that it we is. wanted to try to address. It is. <clears throat> Any other questions? I don't really have any questions, uh, just more of a, I guess, a position or statement regarding the elect the security stuff. I, um, you know, the HVAC is a need to have. And um, personally, I think the security stuff is a need to have as well. Um, so, I, you know, I, I would hate to just look at option one and completely ignore security and then have something happen. Um, that could have been prevented or at least have some sort of mitigation in place to help um, with pre preventing that. So personally, I would lean towards um, including that, which to me obviously looks like SOW2. And SOW2 includes the physical security, uh, but not the uh, all systems work, correct? That's correct. One good thing is that the uh, a lot of the all systems work have been able to combine um, the E-rate um, grant with one of the CARES Act grants that was actually for um, accessibility and um, um, cabling and things like that so a lot of that it's just going to come down to equipment with them because the drops are going to be in we passed that uh, that bid a few months back um, with Midwest Computex so essentially that's all covered with a grant so we got a big hunk of it taken care of and you want that good wiring and infrastructure and Midwest Computex will be doing that for us um, in December which is this month while we're out hopefully but I'm sure you've had plenty of work, Eric Plant. So <laughs> you guys aren't busy at all, right? <laughs> Bruce, Bruce Barber has been working with me on that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Bruce. I agree well, I think that number, that SOW2 is the best one. <clears throat> Particularly since we're getting some of the equipment from E-Rates. It's silly not to go with the, and get the rest of the security to set it up. So I'm with Bo. I like the second one. All right, well, we'll have to, when does that language have to be uh, formalized? We need to do that next board meeting. So if you're telling me 2.5 is what we're gonna ask for, then um, I will put that into the language. Um, but I'd, I'm gonna start drawing it up. I'll just work off the last one we had. I don't think we'll need a big writing crew on that this time. And um, it's due to the, uh, um, the county clerk's office is um, January 26th. So our meeting is January 13th, I believe. It's mid mid January, I think it's the 13th. Let me look at my calendar here real quick. So that's why I'm talking to you about it now so that we're not pressed for time. I can get the ballot language ready and it can be out to you guys. You can look at it and it'll be very similar to what we had before. Um, Let's see here. Look at this January, January thirteenth is our next board meeting. If we shoot for uh, two point five, it looks like we got about thirty six thousand yeah. bucks or so. Um, is there anything we can slide in? Like we were just talking about that greenhouse. Yeah. I was to the conduit maybe we can do the conduit with that yeah keep in mind this does not include all systems when you talk security so it wouldn't include the camera upgrades or the 
the uh, door locks and things. How much was that bid, it, it Dr. That, that bid, I'd have to go back to it, Bo. I think it was... 200, if I remember yeah, right. I think it was 200. But, uh, Something. That, but that doesn't mean we couldn't do that in pieces or do it with whatever remains on this bond, so we're not asking for too much. In other words, we could work it into our facilities projects if we had to do a lease purchase. Um, you have the playground that's coming off, um, so you can do it on a budget over time, low, low interest rates. Um, I mean, you don't have to put it on a long, you know, 10, 15, 20 year bond. You pay it off in short. Well, we, we will have our one to one initiative complete with uh, SHI. Is that the right? Yeah. Yep. That's providing the Chromebooks for us. One thing that some schools don't necessarily think about when you go to a one-to-one -one is you do have to plan for a rotation cycle. Uh, those Chromebooks last about four years, so you have to plan to replace a fourth of those Chromebooks, which would be, what, about 125 of them? Roughly, yeah. In four years. And then you have to consistently, the next year, you know, the, the, one of the issues with buying all of that one-to-one -one at one time is it all gets dated, right, at yeah. one time. Yeah. So, but that's just something we're going to have to plan for. Um, this is true. And, you know, we may even be looking at even better technology four or five years from now, too. Um, so you never know. One year it's iPads, the next year it's Chromebooks. Pretty soon it's going to be that thing in the palm of your hand that's a hologram that comes up, you know. Who, who knows, right? But we won't have to par purchase many devices over the next four years, so we could potentially allocate funds towards piecing the all systems right. plan together and, and phasing in, I guess, the... Um, the um, assets that they were talking about. Right. That's much easier. The all systems piece is much easier to piece together than trying to do the HVAC piece by piece or section by section. And it makes a lot more sense. You know, one year we might do, um, you know, the uh, the high school and, 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 and um, you know, one hallway full of intercoms. The next year we might do the remaining hallways. You know, we can we can budget for that easier. Does that make sense? Then we can, um, and, and all systems willing to do that and, and get you like uh, equipment that works together. Um, the good thing is, is the infrastructure is there with the wiring. Um, with the new CAT uh, 6E, I think I'm getting that right, um, cable, the most up-to-date cable is in now. Or coming soon. All right. Any other discussion on that? All right. We'll move on to our administrator's reports. And any questions for our administrators? I had one for Kelly, actually, just kind of understand the holiday um, event that you're having on the 18th. And Okay, so hold on. Okay, got it. Technical difficulties. All right. And we're hoping not to have those tomorrow, by the way. Um, we are going to have. Hold on a minute, Kelly. I muted you instead of. Uh... Okay, you can't unmute. Now we'll get this resolved and Give then you can jump second. back on, Kelly. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get everybody. Try it now, Kelly. Unmute yourself. Bye. There we go. I'm back. Okay, so elementary is going to work. We had a change of plans. Um, we're going to run a virtual concert, which we ran a practice run today. 
Um, if you want to see some little clips, if you go to the Pittman website, Facebook, record it on there. Um, this is kind of what we're going to do tomorrow. But we are going to have a virtual concert that is going to be live tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And it will be live on Facebook. Um, and we're also going, going to record to. the concert. And we're going to push it out to our Facebook, um, our Tip and Sports YouTube channel. And I got this down here. Uh, maybe. Um, yeah, Facebook page, YouTube channel, Twitter, and district web page. If the information is not too much to try to upload. So we're going to have just a little different look of a virtual concert. Um, kids work on it today. Probably will last between 35 and 45 minutes. So it'll it'll give us a little different look um, for a concert. Uh, elementary usually packs the house. And that was one of our biggest concerns was if we had 350 people show up, even if we gave out tickets, we could have a pretty pretty busy place. So this way we can see it virtually. Um, it'll be recorded. They can send it out. Grandparents somewhere else can watch it. Um, I had a little girl share with me today that her grandparents are out of state would be able to watch the concert because it's recorded. So that's is that the question you were looking for, Mr. Miller? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Um, What's that? What's that? With the ukuleles and all. Yes. yes. Um, so our first, we're going to have third grade, and they're going to be performing with boomsticks, and they're going to do a sign language piece. And then fourth grade is going to do recorders, and then fifth grade will be ukuleles. So they, the kids have been working on this even virtually um, when we were out a week, and it seems to be like it'll be okay. Um, I'm a warrior, so I want things to be very structured, and so I'm just hoping that when we go live tomorrow, that everything works perfect. And Vitaly has been there with us, and Roxanne's going to help record it, so I think it's going to be really good. And that usually kicks off our holiday season for the elementary. That's what's, what's happening in the elementary. Yes. Yes. All right, any other questions for administration? Going once, going twice. All right, we'll move on then. Uh, looks like... Uh, is this the end of the agenda, Dr. Rob? I think I'm looking at that right. Uh, Craig, are you on? Well, sure. That's it. All right, it's your turn, man. Hey, I was, what bullet points do we need to discuss, and who do we need to include? Uh, let's see, we need Nancy. Three and 13. Three and 13. Unmute, Dr. Rob. Oh. <laughs> Three and 13. We need Nancy for the first part. Perfect. Make a motion. We move into closed session in pursuant with 610.021 to discuss bullet points 3 and 13 to include Board of Education, Dr. Robinson, and Miss Nancy Thomas. A second. Okay, got a motion by Craig, seconded by, was that you, Bo? Yes. Okay, Bo? Yes. Carla? Yes. Um, who who made the motion? Uh, Craig made the motion? Yeah, and Bo seconded it. Okay, because I'm, I'm supposed to write it down for Leslie, so... Okay. okay. Aaron? Yes. Kent? Kent? Kent left the meeting while ago. Okay. Patsy? Yes. Craig? Yes. And that makes a yes for me. Okay, Clint or Clint has has Bo left or um, Kent left the meeting. 
Yeah, did uh, we get a time on that? I think it was around 6.30. Okay. Okay. Approximately 6.30. Okay. All right, I got it. Okay. And that concludes our public uh, meeting. We'll see.